Hi everyone, it's Shilpa here with another design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts and today I'm going to share with you all the most gorgeous romantic looking clock that I've altered. It's come out so so pretty but before I show you my project I want to go and um, show you the products that I used. So um, this time I've gone for a completely shabby kind of a look and um, these are the products that I have used. So first of all I've gone for um, these pink tea roses and these are the 30 millimeter sorry the 35 millimeter ones and these are the 40 millimeter ones I beg your pardon this is the pink tea roses and this is the trellis roses so these are the two kind of um, roses that I've gone for in the center of my project and they just look so pretty together you can see and I think the two styles complement each other really really well I've also used um, couple of the white magnolias from this pack and it's the purple lilac magnolias QVR075 and I didn't give you the code for this one this is um, MKX092 the 35 millimeter and then this one the tea roses um, QVR041 okay, so these are some of the flowers and I've also used a mixed pack of flowers MKX311 and these are all the white tones of the pretty um, flowers in different styles. I also used this pack of the mixed colour lily flowers MKX197 and these are really pretty I just love all the bright colours and I've gone for some of the pinks from that. Um, I also used um, an ivory flower shape flat back pearl these are 12 millimeters in size MKX 258 and then last but not least I've used um, some flowers the handmade bead flowers which um, I don't have any in this pack but you'll see them in the project and um, these are uh, MKX 270 I'll point them out as I'm going through my um, project so um, as I said I did an altered clock and oh my goodness it's come out so so beautiful so this is how it looks I'm just going to show you the top there's the top so it's all like a metal frame and I've just shabbed it up with some um, gesso and um, it's actually a metal metal clock and the reverse of it it is a working clock this is where you put your battery and um, it's good to go so <clears throat> excuse me so the flowers I've gone for I, I wanted to kind of complement the background so this was already on it's already distressed and it had like the pinky red toned roses and it just looked really really romantic even before I started um, embellishing it so I decided to um, use some pearls and also the handmade these are the bead flowers just to um, again for the romantic feel so I started off by putting pearls around the clock face there so I've just gone around with some flat back pearls and um, some of the <coughs> excuse me some of the products that I've used are wild Ocky crafts but I don't have the codes for on hand but they will definitely be below so I know wild Ocky crafts have got some um, flat back pearls in and um, I'll put all the links to every single product that I've used below for you guys so you can go and find them on the website so from that um, I then added some vintage lace at the bottom and this is what that looked like so I've added some of this um, sorry lace edging should I say to the bottom and this is from June thanks June and then from that I just started to build up my flower in the middle so basically this side is almost similar to this side just a um, few different things going on um, so there's the pink roses again they've been gessoed to make it look a bit more shabby um, so there's the large 40 millimeter um, tea rose these are the trellis roses I've got some curly roses here from Wild Orchid Crafts again the links will be below I've added the lilies in between some white cottage roses here some more open roses in between and these are acrylic ro um, flowers from my stash I've added some beautiful two-tone rosebuds and these are from Wild Orchid Crafts and I'm not sure if Wild Orchid Crafts do this anymore I'll check and I'll put the codes below these are from Wild Orchid Crafts these um, like 
um, heather like sprays so I've used the pink ones there there's some more white lilies over here on either end <clears throat> and then there's some pearls tucked away here and there love these flowers oh my gosh they're just so gorgeous I love them so I've got um, one here one here and then I've also got um, one on either side here just tucked, to, tucked in between the flowers so there's one here and one here and um, it just looks so beautiful and it's just really full beautiful flowers that complement each other really well all the pinks and creams and whites they just look really nice together and on the top there where I've tied the bow you can see I've put the flat back pearl there just tied a bow and put the pearl in the center of that okay so that is it really it was such a fun project to do you know and I just love using these flowers you know just to fill up a space and make everything look so pretty so I absolutely enjoyed um, altering this clock it makes a really nice gift as well so this kind of thing would be really great as a wedding gift or just to make something pretty for your craft room so it's just really really beautiful and I just love the way how you can use flowers to make something so pretty so um, again guys the codes for every single flower and product that I've used is going to be below and um, check out the links below to the store the website um, Pinterest Facebook Wild Ocker Craft YouTube so you can go and sub to that and see all the designers doing their thing and um, that's it so leave me a comment and let me know what you think of my beautiful shabby clock shabby romantic clock and I'll see you guys very soon with another project for Wild Ocker Craft so until next time take care and I'll see you soon bye